The Saturn V, a triumph of engineering, a monument to a nation's resolve. But for all its power, the launch vehicle that carried a man to the moon was a calculated risk. To mitigate that risk, every critical component had to be tested to its absolute limit. Before the first Saturn V ever left the pad at Complex 39, its first stage had to be unleashed at a place few have ever heard of. Test Stand 4670. This is the S1C stage, the bedrock of the Saturn V. Its five F1 engines, the most powerful single-chamber liquid-fueled engines ever built, generated a combined 7.5 million pounds of thrust. We're talking about a vehicle 138 feet tall and 33 feet in diameter, fueled by RP-1 and liquid oxygen that had to lift the entire 6.5 million pounds rocket into the upper atmosphere in just over two minutes. The margins for error were non-existent The stand itself was an act of faith. Its main concrete and steel structure stands over 266 feet tall, designed to withstand immense heat and vibration. The total height could reach over 400 feet with its immense crane fully extended. The flame deflector, a 1,900 ton steel plated wedge, was designed to split the exhaust and channel it safely away. During a test fire, a high-pressure deluge system would flood the deflector with over 270,000 gallons of water per minute, not just to cool it, but to prevent the stand from being a casualty of the very force it was meant to contain. The objective of a static fire was multifaceted. It was a live fire audit of the S1C's performance, from the structural integrity of its massive fuel tanks to the precision timing of the engine ignition and cutoff. For example, the S1CT, a structural test article, underwent multiple firings here, including a full duration firing of 150 seconds. This wasn't just to see if it would work. It was to gather the thousands of data points needed to ensure the flight articles, like the ones that would power Apollo 4 and Apollo 6, were ready for their mission.
After its role in Apollo was completed, Test Stand 4670 didn't fall silent. It was repurposed for the Space Shuttle era, where it was used for structural testing of the external tank and main engine. Today, its legacy continues with a new generation of pioneers. Blue Origin, for example, has utilized the stand's incredible infrastructure for its own rocket engine testing, breathing new life into a historic landmark. The same stand that once shook the ground for the F-1 is now helping to forge the future of commercial spaceflight. In the pantheon of Apollo, we rightly honor the astronauts and the mission controllers. But we should also remember the ground crew, the engineers, and the facilities that made it all possible. Thank you.